The documentation of a building consists not only of the model and its projected views, but also detailed drawings and schedules. The good news is that by having a detailed model, we can automatically retrieve the necessary information. You may continue working on the current project, or open the TS-03 Chapter 6 PLN ARCHICAD solo project file to complete this chapter of the training series. If the library manager appears and informs you that the training textures are unavailable, then click the Add button at the bottom of the dialog. Select the Training Textures folder. This is located in the Training Files folder of the downloaded guide. Click Choose to add this folder, and then click OK to proceed. Before we place details, let's clean up the content of sections and elevations. Open the ground floor from the pop-up navigator, or simply from the tab bar, and take a look at the section and elevation lines. You can see that they are not entirely in the right position. Use the hotspots of the section and elevation lines and the drag stretch commands to align them so the elevations show the whole building and the sections cut the building at openings. Feel free to also move the dimensions if they overlap with the section and elevation lines. Start with the elevation lines and arrange these as shown on the screen. Break the S1 section line to make it more informative. Select the section line and click on the midpoint to display the pet palette. Select the Break Section Elevation Line option. Move the bottom part of the section lines so that it passes through the veranda door of the exhibition space. Now click the mid hotspot of the upper part of the section line and select the Move Section Elevation Line Segment option on the pet palette. Move the section line segment so that it cuts the window of the entrance. Now move the horizontal part of the section line segment to the entrance area so that the vertical part of the section line passes through the pocket door. The mesh was not affected when the priority-based junctions were created. Therefore, we'll have to use solid element operations to solve its connections to the structures. Let's subtract foundations, pavement, and ground floor slab from the terrain. Open the 3D window to continue the work. Open the Find and Select palette from the Edit menu. Select Element Type for Criteria and Wall for Element Type. Add another criteria by pressing the Add button below. Select Building Material for Criteria and reinforced concrete structural for its value. Click the plus button to select the concrete foundations in the 3D window. Notice that seven elements are selected. Modify the element type to column and press the plus button again. Now 11 elements are selected. Let's add the slabs to the selection by modifying the element type to slab. Change the other criteria to Home Story and select the ground floor from the Select Story dialog. Press the plus button to add the pavement and the ground floor slab to the selection. Shift click the mesh to add it to the current selection as well. Now 14 elements are selected. Right click an empty area of the 3D window and select the Show Selection Marquee in 3D option in the Context menu. Now only the 14 selected elements are displayed. Close the Find and Select palette. Right-click and select Connect Solid Element Operations from the Context menu to display the Edit Targets and Operators palette. Here we can define connections between selected elements. Click the Get Operator Elements button to add the current selection of 14 elements as operators. 
Now select the mesh only. The foundations and slabs will be deselected. Click the Get Target Elements button. Now you have one target element and 14 operator elements stored. Select the Subtraction with Upwards Extrusion option from the list of operations. Click Execute. The foundation and the parts above it are subtracted from the terrain mesh. This subtraction is not visible, so let's display the mesh element only. Select the mesh and choose the Show Selection Marquee in 3D option. Close the Edit Target and Operators palette. Now it's visible that the foundation as well as the slab are subtracted from the body of the mesh. Select the Show All in 3D option from the context menu to show all elements in the 3D view.